My name is Scholar Ling. I'm here to rescue my master. This child, the very person who tested my Lotus assassins, brought to my doorstep by my own daughter. Brother Lee, did you plant the seeds for this fool to come here? Layers upon layers, always the glorious strategist. We already accepted this a long time ago. Uh, do you see, Princess? Your father is at the heart of it all. I am the Emperor. I am the heart of the Empire. Death's hand is a diversion. He is Death's hand. My hand. I don't blame you for your foolishness. What can you possibly know? The Emperor is the manifestation of divine power. That is your role as figurehead. How could you betray the people? Your greed has unsettled the whole of the Empire. The dead no longer sleep. My child, remember your place. I have no patience for anyone that challenges my authority, not even you. Kill the rest. They are unimportant. No! I won't let you disgrace the Empire! Neither! I am God, Emperor Sun! In my youth, I ruled dutifully. But nature does not respect titles. Withering drought, not battle, threatened to take my throne. But I would not allow it. I assaulted the underworld and claimed the great water dragon. And neither the treachery of my siblings nor my failing body could stop me. I am no longer a slave to time's decay. My actions have brought the Empire great strength, and its Emperor endless power. Who among you would dare challenge my right to rule? Oh, I complete... I, I didn't know he was a ghost. I had no idea. You're blind to your own corruption, old man. That glow. Brother Lee hid the amulet in plain sight and acted as his own diversion, just as Death's hand diverted attention from me. The obvious threat hid the insidious one. Do you even know what you hold, child? What truly led you here? Okay, so he's more afraid of the amulet than he is of any uh, corporeal being, I guess. I guess if he's a spirit, he can't truly be killed, can he? He can only be dispersed. So the amulet must have a way of putting the spirits to rest permanently. That makes sense. You've upset the order of things. I do what I must. But for whom, I wonder, do you blindly follow the will of your master? Is anything so simple? You were guided to me. What did Lee tell you? That I murdered your people and caused the restless dead? Side effects. Actor thoughts. This is about power. And I will add yours to what I have stolen. Even if you are impervious to my sorcery, it changes nothing. I am a god. Come, student of Lee. Your quest for death is at an end. I do see the problem with the Emperor being a spirit and me only being good with the sword. Ha! <laughs> 
Man, this area is pretty graphics intensive. It's really slow. Well, getting about 53 frames a second. It's not terrible, is it? Uh, maybe I meant to shut down something here. Up infinite XP, I guess. Die with honor. No, look, they're still coming. They're still coming. Oh, maybe not then. I didn't stick a save in because I uh, stopped the video halfway through that little chat. Who's. Oh, he's still there. He's... What is this? Weaklings! All of you! Your defiance grows tiresome, student of Lee. You must learn your place in the order of things. Oh, these have about double the health of the last guys. Well, that was a nice bit of luck. He rolled the same as I did. I'm guessing from the way it saves every fight that these are meant to be very difficult battles. Oh nice, glad I robbed that one. I quite like this music track, it's quite a lot louder than most of the others, especially in our conversation with the Emperor. Okay, so I've got another technique there. I mean, these are pretty good level ups I'm getting for free, you know, pretty good, um, pretty good ability ups. Dispose of one defiant peasant? Very well. I will face you myself, no matter your destiny. You will fall here today! Okay, this could well be the end of me then. He's immune? What's he mean to? Oh, maybe I'm immune to him. This cannot 
be! I am Emperor's son! I am a god! <laughs> Toad demon form! So that was it? Iron he wasn't too bad. Everything has gone as it should. There's a great deal we have to discuss, Master. I'm sure there is, my student. Your abilities have grown immensely. But it also does my heart good to see that you have remembered the basics of what I taught. Even the flaws. Death has come to you, but life can be regained. I will guide you through madness to the light. Follow the pillar of light. Well, I hope I speak for all of us when I say Master Lee is a massive, massive dickhead. Although I did kind of see that coming when everyone kept mentioning the flaws. Um, because they probably wouldn't keep mentioning it unless it was going to come to something. I know that's kind of meta gamey, uh, and I couldn't, I didn't remember that Master Lee betrayed you. Well, I did remember that he died and come here. Um, but yeah, I kind of guessed that was going to happen. Oh, right, well, Chaps 4 was pretty short. Yeah, I. I can't say I'm hugely surprised. Master Lee was obviously up to something Iron Palm. because of the way he hid everything from me. I wonder if um, my sword will hurt them when I'm a ghost. Your master betrayed you, as he once betrayed his brother. A revenge years in the planning. However, it still doesn't explain what's in Master Lee's tomb, which I think is probably quite important. Who's that, then? I've got to say, Ghost Lord's probably one of the toughest monsters we've fought. They're one of the things that you remember when I was in the um, Necropolis and kept getting battered. One of those was a Ghost Lord. Well, it sounds like I'm hitting him with this style, and I wasn't with the other, so why don't I uh, level this one up? I must have loads of these stats to level up. No? Okay. I thought I leveled up. Okay, I haven't maxed this one out. 
So I'll max that out. I'll max demon style out. So I've got, got quite a mixture. I don't have a support style, but I don't really do any support. Mirabelle might be good. I don't have a magic style. I'll just go for it. Seems fairly effective against those guys. I have got a level up. With loads of points. Perhaps you just can't level up during combat. I don't really know what to go for. I'm not particularly short on anything anymore. you to fight a tyrant, but with a flaw. He wanted you vulnerable in your moment of triumph. Okay, this is the edge of the world here. Perhaps the lights dictate the edge of the world. The dragon amulet is in his hands, reassembled. He will consume my... Oh. Need to sign this to number four, really. Seen that? Your master claims the throne and my power. He will rule as a god unless he is stopped. Don't know how much we interrupted then. So I'm still using my amulet uh, shards. Like you have done well, mortal. But your journey is far from over. Time grows short and we must act quickly if we are to stop your Master Lee. Okay, so first things first. Where are we? How did I get here? Your Master, Sun Li, the glorious strategist, betrayed you. He killed you to claim the power of the Emperor, my power, as his own. You are dead. I am the Water Dragon, immortal guardian of the path to the Underworld. I shepherd the dead, leading them to my holy temple in Dirge, the gateway to the afterlife. But twenty years ago, the Emperor and his brothers attacked Dirge. They burned my temple, slew my servants, and defiled my body so the Emperor could claim my power. When Emperor Sun Hai fell, I reclaimed some of my power, enough to call your spirit here. But now I am fading once more. Sun Li consumes my energy. Okay, do you know why Master Li would betray me? Your former master has long desired power to impose his will on the Empire. His plan took years to form, but the prize was too grand to let go to waste on his brother's madness. He consumes my essence to become a god, but he does not yet fully control his power. That is why I could bring you here, and why we can speak now. Ah. Oh. My strength wanes. We must act quickly. For you to fulfill your destiny, I must send you to Dirge now, 
while Sun Lee struggles to control his newfound power. But if he planned all of this, his lies have spanned years, and so many people. I mean, that woman we met in the first town in Tien's Landing. I don't think she was corrupt. I don't think she was lying to me. The glorious strategist knows patience. Lee has planned this for twenty years. When Dirge fell, he rescued you only because he believed you were a tool he could use. You will learn this and more, but we must move quickly. When he discovers what I have done, he will try to seal this realm and prevent me from sending you to Dirge. Okay, but you're sending me to Dirge. Why? And what about... Why don't I tell her about uh, the son? Master Lee's son is still alive. But why are you sending me to Dirge? My temple at Dirge is defiled. I do not have the power to restore you to life. But I can send your spirit to Dirge, so you may cleanse the taint corrupting my holy sanctum. Ah! Hurry! If you restore the fountains of Dirge, I can restore you to life. If you do not, Master Lee will become unstoppable. Seek out Abbot Song. He will help you. Restore the fountains of Dirge. Restore my... Restore my power, and I will speak to you again. This is not what I was expecting, so I've got. Oh, it must be going that way. Stairs upwards. Long sword. So, is it, where's this portal go then? No, it's not. It's just a uh, just a wall. I'm guessing gem of premonition is something to do with traps. Yeah, not even a very good one. What was that? This... this cannot be! Is it really possible? I sense the mark of the water dragon upon you! You have returned! Uh, who are you? You don't recognize me? No, of course not. You were just an infant when you were taken from us. I am the spirit of Abbot Song, slain many years ago by the glorious strategist. Before my death, I was the head of the spirit monk order, your order. Okay, so you're the leader of the spirit monks? I am. I was. But I only led them to defeat and destruction. I failed in my duty to protect the Water Dragon, a duty I would one day have passed to you. You are a spirit monk, born here in Dirge and cleansed in the sacred fountains. You were an infant the day the Emperor and Sun Li attacked our monastery. I tried to save you from the slaughter, only to lose you to Li when he ripped you from the arms of your dying guardian.
Lee claimed he was the one who saved me. I can only imagine what lies and distortions he told you about Dirge, your heritage, and his own role in events here. But now, you deserve to hear the truth. Thirty years ago, the long drought struck the land. For a decade, crops withered and died. Starving people across the Empire demanded that something be done. Despite his position, Emperor Sun Hai could not alter the natural order. He demanded that his brother, the glorious strategist, concoct a plan to rectify this insult. Through Sun Li's cunning, the armies of the Emperor laid siege to the gates of Dirge. They came to seize the Water Dragon's power and her life-giving waters. How did he defeat the Water Dragon? The soldiers of the Imperial Army swarmed over us, too many to count. My spirit monks fought bravely, but I knew the battle was lost. We were beaten. All around me, my fellow spirit monks were dying. I tried to hold the attackers at bay. Prince Kin attacked me, and then Master Li cut me down from behind. The Emperor ascended unopposed, but already Sun Li and Prince Kin plotted against him. The glorious strategist was not content to watch his brother come to power. Emperor Sun Hai, ruler of the Jade Empire, stepped beyond his station and slew the Water Dragon, claiming her power for his own. His brothers tried to strike him down, but they could not know he would be so strong. Infused with the Water Dragon's power, he was now unbelievably powerful. Sun Li escaped with his life, but he left his brother, Prince Kin, to suffer the Emperor's terrible vengeance. A spirit monk child still lived. He killed your guardian. Claiming his identity, no longer a servant of the Emperor, Li abandoned his fearsome armor to become the master you thought you knew. If you and the Amulet were the key to defeating his brother, he might still claim that power. Li disappeared with you and the Amulet, escaping the Emperor's retribution. With his newfound power, the Emperor is a taunt to his traitorous brother, bound kin spirit to the armor Lee had left behind. And Death's hand was born. You were the last of the spirit monks. Sun Lee saw our attempt to save you as confirmation of your importance. He believed you were meant to restore what he helped steal. He trained you to be an instrument of vengeance, an agent to succeed where he and Prince Kin had failed. But with your death, the Emperor is now invincible. I've still got some questions about who lies in the tomb. Now I've got questions about who lies in the tomb of Lee and Kin. Uh, what? And how much... So he bound the spirit to the armor. But I don't know how much free will that spirit has left. Like in uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, the spirit... I can't remember which way around the armor. I haven't watched it for years. But one of them is bound to a suit of armor. And he still has free will. He still has his personality as it was before. So is Death's hand as he exists today, loyal to the Emperor 
that was before, or just any emperor, so he's now loyal to Emperor Lee, or is he thinking for himself? This hand is obviously one of the main antagonists, and he's not dead yet, as far as I know. So that's, that's going to be pretty important to find out. We still need to find Master Lee's son. I'd say that was pretty important. And Master Lee, we're just going to have to kill him and then restore the water dragon. So he's the, mo he's the most straightforward thing in the game now, as far as uh, Scholar Ling is concerned. So does Master Lee have the power of the water dragon now? Then the glorious strategist has won. You were the last of the spirit monks, but now you are just a ghost like the rest of us. No one is left to oppose Sun Li. What is left of the water dragon will bring me back if I restore the fountains of dirge. You spoke with the water dragon? Of course! Only she could guide your spirit to Dirge, while all others must wander the mortal world. I worried that our last hope had died with you, but now I see you have come to restore the Fountains of Dirge. The first step in restoring the Water Dragon herself. As leader of the Spirit Monks in life, I am bound by honor and duty to aid you in this task. I swear, I will not abandon you until the Fountains of Dirge are restored. Mm, I'm honored to have you with me. I can guide you here in Dirge, this lost home of yours. I know the monastery well, and will do everything in my power to help you restore the Fountains. How am I supposed to restore the fountains? The fountains were tainted with human blood, which shattered their seals. The blood that stained them is gone. Replacing the seals should restore them. I, I don't want to know whose blood that is, I don't think. I've got some more questions. I know the monastery well. I want to know more about my amulet. The amulet is an artifact of great power, though few truly understand its nature. What do you wish to know? I saw Lee take it from me. How can I still use it? The amulet is a powerful tool, but it is only a tool. When you were first learning to unleash the power within you, the amulet helped you to focus your mind and energy. But you are a spirit monk. The power of the water dragon was always in you, not in the amulet. Now you are strong enough to draw on that power without the amulet. Okay, so if the power was mine all along, what does the amulet do? It is a tool and a focus. It allows you to understand the power you can wield, and to use the essence gems that so many discount as trinkets. We alone can draw on more than one gem at a time. You can do this, even without the physical amulet, now that you know your true nature. So if the amulet is only a focus, why did Lee take it from me? You no longer need the amulet, but Lee has a use for it. Lee's brother, Sun Hai, consumed the Water Dragon's power, but without the amulet, it was a long and slow process. Even after twenty years, he was not strong enough to defeat you. Had the Lotus Assassins brought him enough pieces of the amulet, he would have been far more powerful. But Sun Li has the amulet, making him far more dangerous. With it, he can draw on the Water Dragon's power much faster. Unless you stop him soon, he will become invincible. Well, I, 
I wonder, I kind of want to know who scattered the pieces across the Empire, but uh, why were the pieces scattered across the Empire? I did not want the amulet to fall into the hands of our enemy. When I realized the battle was lost, I shattered it into several pieces. I gave the pieces to my apprentices and told them to flee to the farthest reaches of the Empire. The core of the amulet was given to the young monk who fled with you. I knew the core alone would be enough for you to start discovering your true power. But anyone else would need to find all the pieces to use the amulet. Oh dear. I also answered who, which is good. I think this probably answered in another bit, but why is it so powerful? The amulet. But you are a. Yeah, we've covered that. I will do my best. I'm curious about spirit monks and dirge. I would be honored to help you learn more about our order and your legacy. What did the spirit monks do exactly? We served the water dragon as her guardians and protectors. We saw to the needs of her physical form, maintained dirge, and honored her with worship and prayer. Oh, is that all? We also served as shepherds for the dead. Most spirits came to dirge in time, but sometimes a spirit was unable or unwilling to leave the mortal world behind. We would seek out these lost spirits, those with unfinished business or those who had suffered traumatic deaths would need our help to reach Dirge. But now that the Water Dragon is gone, none of the spirits can find their way to Dirge. And those already here are trapped. The portal to the afterlife is sealed. Tell me more about Dirge. Dirge is a place between. It exists in both the mortal world and the spirit realm. And it leads to the underworld itself. It is a bridge between life and death. Once it was a holy place, but now it is defiled. Dirge has become a place of great evil and corruption. A corruption that has been growing for the past 20 years. You said I was born at Dirge. Many of our order were brought to us as children. Orphans we raised to serve our great mistress. But a few children are born here at the monastery. Both your mother and father were spirit monks. You were born right here in Dirge and bathed in the sacred fountains mere days before we were destroyed. Both your mother and father died in the attack, along with the rest of us who served the Water Dragon. What were my parents like? They were good people. Their love for each other was matched only by their devotion to the Water Dragon herself. Had they survived, you would have been raised here in Dirge. They would have instructed you from birth in the duties of a spirit monk. It is a tragedy you never knew them. D okay, that is everything. Do you have any general advice for me? Only that you should do as the Water Dragon asked, and try to restore the Fountains of Dirge. You are probably right. We must restore the Water Dragon's power before Sun Li gains full command of her powers. Okay, I think that's a good place to end the episode. I don't know what's going on at the top, I could see it during the conversation, but uh, 
we'll get there next episode. Thank you for watching. Whoops, I meant to go backwards. So, thank you for watching. Ah, he's my assistant. Excellent. I wonder what he adds for me then. He does loads of stuff. I don't know if he, I think recovering everything is pretty bloody good. Armed with a spade isn't all that good. So, thank you for watching. Come back to some more Jade Empire. White Demon Style Many martial artists criticise the White Demon Style for being slow and ponderous, but in the hands of a true master it can be one of the deadliest martial styles of all. While it lacks the crowd-pleasing panache of faster styles, White Demon's sheer power and intimidating techniques plough through opponents like an ogre in a tea house. Warrior of the Unyielding Heart The body is the final arbiter of any choice. Our destinies are made in this world, and warriors of this path seek to strengthen their bodies by any means. Through their courage and strength, they seek their place as set out by heaven. Gem of Storm's Rage Only followers of the Way of the Closed Fist may use this gem. This gem wraps you in whirling winds that tear away at any who attack you. Its effect is constant while the gem is equipped. Iron Skin Gem 0% damage from traps The power of this gem toughens the skin until it is as strong as iron. Traps and other undirected attacks will have no effect at all upon the wielded. Calculated, cunning strikes from an intelligent opponent will still harm the user, but the strength and skin will help absorb the damage. The Celestial Order Volume 2 The Great Dragon loosed chaos upon the world he had created, separating man from the beasts and laying the foundations for the eventual order that would unite humanity, this glorious Jade Empire. The great animal spirits of the past were cast out from the human communities, and man was forever separated and elevated above the common beasts. Man was now the guardian of order, imposing his will on nature and shaping it to his desire. But balance must exist in all things. Man was a bastion of order, with chaos in his heart. For as long as the world remains in chaos, man will always war and strive against his fellow man. This is the way of nature. Until the great dragon returns to bring the world to order, or humanity brings itself above the cycle of nature, this is the way it will always be. The Lotus Monks as far as we know, all copies of the larger text were destroyed, but I shall include a fragment below for your amusement. Protection of our glorious Emperor has always been the purpose of the Order of the Lotus. The Lotus Monks are the personal servants and protectors of the Emperor of the Jade Empire, governed by the Hand of Heaven, Sun Kin. They are servants, guards, teachers, doctors and spiritual advisors. With their simple robes and dyed hands, they are an omnipresent and unpredictable force whose importance is disproportionate to their numbers. Anyone who wishes a presence in the court of the Emperor must, in some way, appease the Lotus Monks. Should someone displease the Emperor, or offend the glory of the Empire, the consequences can be dramatic. Fortunately, they watch themselves as well as others, and any who stray are punished accordingly. How quaint. Blood stains the hands much better than dye. Limb. The Righteous Siege A vague account of the attack on the Spirit Monks of Dirge that maintains Sun Li and Sun Kin died in the assault. Despite obvious bias, some passages hint at the bloody actions that tormented Sagacious Su. Days turned to weeks as denial of the Emperor's authority continued. The gates of the fortress did not yield until cowards within were convinced to turn on their fellows. Victory was as inevitable as the tide, but losses were felt. Two brothers were claimed by crimes that remain unspoken, lest the heart of the Empire break with the telling. Death's hand rose in their stead, to serve while Sun Hai returned life to the withered land. In the weeks that followed, the price of disloyalty was made clear to those in and out of the Emperor's honoured grasp. A difficult time full of changes that not all would accept, but necessary cruelties ensured that no one in the Jade Empire would ever go thirsty again. Friends in High Places You helped Princess Sun Lian see that her father is behind the Empire's troubles. Whatever happens, you will always have an ally in court, an asset that cannot help but buoy your spirit. Warrior of the Infinite Spirit The spirit knows no bounds. One who is great in spirit is destined to achieve great things. One who knows his own spirit and uses it accordingly can often shape the world around him to his desires. Warriors of this path seek to become one with their spirit, choosing their own destinies. Abbot Song, attack Monk Spade. Support recovers your chi, focus and health. The Abbot of the Doomed Spirit Monks, Abbot Song serves the Water Dragon, even in death. His hope for redemption lies with you. Chapter 5 
wherein the water dragon intervenes, true history is revealed, and the spirit monk legacy is reclaimed. The defeat of Emperor Sun Hai was supposed to set things right, but with one careful blow, Master Li left you crumpled on the floor, a pawn in his carefully plotted revenge. The spirit realm stretches before you, but a beacon in the distance calls. You are not yet lost to the living.